It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing team number one, the game show nerds, Chris and Andrew. Ready for action. Playing against the Northern Lights, Eric and Nell. On your mark, Hello. let's start Hello. the Family Feud. Thank you so much, thank you ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate having you all. Thank you and welcome in to another edition of Family Feud Live right here at MBG Productions. Glad to have you with us on this one. We're back again. We got two great teams here ready to buy it out. See if they have a chance to take get to fast money and take home twenty thousand dollars in cash. Let's meet our team starting over here to my to my right, your left, we have the game show nerds. What's up, guys? Yeah. How y'all doing, Chris? Andrew, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. All right, tell good folks home a little bit about yourselves, guys. We'll start with you, Chris. Chris? Yes, you're up. That's okay. We'll go. We'll go. He's a little camera shy, folks. It'll be all right. We'll go with you, Andrew, and say, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Andrew Hawking. I'm from Stratford, Ontario, Canada. I work in the bingo hall as a runner, and my hobbies are all game shows. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm glad you joined. What's your favorite one? Uh, I have, I have, I have, I've, I have a few. Um, Family Feud is one of them. Uh, Card Sharks and Wheel of Fortune. Fantastic. Good. A good variety of games there. To you. Good luck yes, to you and your partner. We'll find Thank out. You. And Chris, what about you, sir? Well, I'm 17, about the 18, about a few months away. Got a game show. Got a got a game show coming up very soon on the MGB called Catch 21. And I just want to plan out that episode 10 is fast approaching. And if that will be the case, the money for that will climb up to fifty thousand dollars. So if you do want to be a contestant for it, do hit me up on my social media. Let me know. But anyways, um, on my free time. Yes, right, right, right. Uh, well, um, my hobbies are game shows, as you know, and um, I usually play my free time Roblox too. But mostly, it's mostly game shows is one of my favorite hobbies, though. That's okay. Shameless plugs for my channel are perfectly fine and accepted here at any and all time, so it's okay. So check it out. All right, so good luck to the nerds. you got a good team playing against you here today. They are the Northern Lights. Oh, What's up, coming? Yeah. Eric and Nails, welcome in, fellas. Uh, Thank you. I think you've seen both these folks here on um, Family Feud Live a couple times, but just as a reminder for the good folks at home, Eric, tell them a little bit about yourself. I hail from New Bedford, Massachusetts. I am a Red Sox Patriots fan. I'm a WWE wrestling fan. I am. I love like video games and game shows and Power Rangers. Uh, I yeah. Said, I said I approve of all of that except the fact that you're a Patriots fan. But I will let that slide in this case <laughs> <laughs> on a personal <laughs> level. But oh. that is okay. Justin, what about you? I mean, sorry, Nails. What about you? Excuse me. I said, I looked I'm, at the wrong dude, name. My bad. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll let that one slide too. Um, let's see. I'm 35. Cashier. Love old Nickelodeon game shows. Uh, your favorite one? I have two, so it's it has to be Double Dare and Finders Keepers. Ooh, that's a, it's always a tough one between the two. I'm, yeah, a, I'm a Double I, Dare guy myself uh, personally, but. That well, is... Harvey came, Harvey was an announcer for Finders Keepers before. He so. was. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Well, good luck. Two great teams Thank here. You. They get ready to play us a little game of the few. Remember, the first team to reach three hundred points wins the game. Goes on to fast money for a chance at twenty thousand dollars for our player. So, if we're all set and ready to go, give me Chris. Give me Eric. Let's play the feud. <laughs> Get them. All right. Good luck to both of you guys. Again, remember, we surveyed 100 people. Top eight answers are on the board. 
try to give me your most popular answer. Here it is. Okay. Ask one hundred people. Name. Excuse me. Name a reality show where people cry at the drop of a hat. Oh, don't everybody buzz in at once now. <laughs> Eric, there we go. Eric. I would say The Bachelor. I'll say The Bachelor. Good Let's answer. see if it's up there. We are looking for The Bachelor. All right, it's so number eight. Wow. Uh, <laughs> any any of the other answers can beat it, Chris. Um, that's a good one. Uh, drop their hat on. Three seconds. I don't have it. Sorry. All right, okay. out of time. All right. Uh, Northern Lights have control, guys. Pass or play? Oh, we'll play. All right. We'll try. Okay. Over to you, Nails. Name a reality show where people dry, cry at the drop of a hat. Big Brother. Big Brother. All right. Let's see if it's up there. We are looking for the man who's always watching. Big Brother. Not there. First strike. Oh. Eric, back to you. Say the real world. The real world. Oh, yeah. That that was one of my favorites growing up. That's that's yeah. the show that brought us the WWE eight-time Intercontinental Champion, The Miz himself. Let's see if it's there. Yeah. Looking for the real world. Not there. Oh. Second strike. All right, uh, game show nerds, get ready to steal. Uh, uh, Nails, we're back to you again. Name a reality show where people cry at the drop of a hat. Survivor. All right. Ah, if Survivor is up there, you guys are still the control. If not, it's your third strike. Nerds get a chance to steal. Show me Survivor. There it is. All right, it's up there. Nineteen yeah. points in the bank. Still two strikes. On, Eric, Eric, back to you. Come on. Try. What are we gonna try? Eric. The apprentice. The apprentice. Oh, the okay. Apprentice. <laughs> All right. If the, if the apprentice is oh. up there, it's, you're still alive. If not, third strike. Right? We are looking for the apprentice. <laughs> Up there, third strike. Game show nerds, your chance yeah. to steal on this one. Stick with me, give me. Bachelorette, Bachelorette. All right. Andrew says. The Bachelorette. Says bachelorette. Oh. All right, Chris, Chris, you go with that one, or um, you can. I got thumbs up. Mine is, well, because I have no other reality shows in my well, head. Well, uh, according to the judges, Bachelor and Bachelorette are in the same uh, category there, so. Oh, 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 All right. Oh, so you have to give me another oh, answer. Let me be sure. Uh, um, uh, reality show. Um, just give me the um. Uh, amazing race. Try the amazing race. Yeah, give it a try. Let's go. With that. We'll go see the amazing race. If um. If the amazing is up there, you guys get the 19 points in the bank and you take the early lead. If not, it goes to the Northern Lights. We are looking for the amazing race. Not there. Oh. Northern Lights get the points. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. Wow. Sorry, Chris. A lot of answers Sorry. still on the board. I'm surprised. I'm surprised we didn't get more than what we did. Let's see what we got up there. Start at the top. What was the number one answer? Biggest loser. Oh, oh, sir. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that one. All right, three. Real Housewives. Oh, oh that's right. Four. Oh, American Idol. Oh, my oh. God. Number five. Stream Makeover. Oh, I, right. I bet I the America's um, next top model is going to be up there. Number six. Intervention. 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 Oh, and seven. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Oh, what? Oh, wow. uh, that's not a reality show. That's a talk show. I know, but again, I I don't control the surveys. Where they ask the people, oh, okay. that's just what oh, they said. Phil, Dr. It's, Phil. 
Okay. It's basically the same thing. Doctor Phil. Yeah, it, it, it's Doctor Phil. Let's we'll just say. All right. Uh, Northern Lights got the lead with 19 points. Game show nerds you have to get on the board. Give me Andrew. Give me Nels. Let's play some more for you. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, again, survey one people for this one. Our top eight answers are on the board again. Here is the question. Yeah, Name a place women just love to get together and gossip. And that's Andrew. A restaurant. All right. He says oh, restaurant. Show me a restaurant. Number one answer. Oh, one. All right, game show nerds, your control. 36 points in the bank. Pass or play? What do you want, Chris? What? I'm playing. Let's play this. We're going to play. Okay. We're going to play. play. All right, Chris, over to you. Again, name a place women just love to get together and gossip. Um, that's a good one. <laughs> you should have passed. The beach? You say the beach? All right. I'm going to try that. All right, let's see if it's there. Looking for the beach. Not, not there. First break. Uh, Andrew. I'm gonna say work at work. At work. All right. We'll see if it's up there. Show me at work. Two. All right. Work's up there. All right. Oh, okay. All right, Chris. Back to you. In name of place, I women work. just love to get together and gossip. I say a school, maybe. School. They love to get together at the class and talk about everybody in school. Okay, let's see oh, if it's Lord. up there. Looking for some dirty, dirty education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So. All right, second strike there. I got it. I got it. Andrew. What is it? What is it? I got it. What is it? Your home. Your home. Your home. home. Okay. Get the other in the home. See, it's up there. You guys are still in control. If not, it's third strike. Looking for at home. Yeah, there we go. It's up there. 52 points in the bank. Still five answers oh. left. Two strikes, guys. Chris. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be up there, but I'm going to say a prom. A prom. Oh. Okay. If a prom or a... Our dance is up there. You guys are still in control. If not, it is a third strike, and the Northern Lights get a chance to steal. Looking for a prom. Not there. Third strike. Okay. All right. Okay. 52 points on the line here. Uh, Northern Lights. Nails, what do you say? I want to say a spa. A spa. Okay, Eric, you're the captain here. You can go with the you can go with the spa, or you can go with an answer of your own. But ultimately, the choice is yours. What do you think, now? I said spa. I don't feel like we're gonna get that one. Let's try. Let's try a. Let's try bathroom. I. Bathroom. Usually, when women get together in the bigger places, bathroom seems logical to me. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're the captain. Okay, we'll see if it's there. If uh, bathroom is up there, you guys get 50, 52 points in the bank. Y'all take a bigger lead. If not, it goes over to the nerds and they take the lead. Looking for the bathroom. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. There we I go. knew it. Number two answer. Can, I, I, can I say something, Brandon? Yeah. I bet you that bar, bar or nightclub's going to be up there. All right. Well, let's see what the rest of the answers are. We'll start with we'll start with number three. <sighs> Beauty parlor. That's what Nels was had just said. The spa is there, so that would have worked. Number five. The mall, the store. All right, seven. There, the bar. There it is. There it is. And finally, number eight. It's Jim. Jim. Damn. Oh. Yep, ladies like to work out. Come on, Chris. Come on, yeah. Chris. All right, uh, Northern Lights and Lee with 71 <laughs> points. Game show nerds yet to get on the board. We'll see if they can do it now. Give me Chris. Give me Eric. Let's play some more feud. All right. All 
right. Once again, we surveyed 100 people this time. Top eight answers again on the board. Here is the question. Let me go on. Tell me something a lot of people have that they can't afford. Eric. Car. He says a car. Show me, show me the car. Number one answer. Yes. There it is. 47 points in the bank, guys. Northern well, Lights, well, pass the play. What do you want to do? Oh, we'll We're play. Playing. We'll go play. All right. Game show nerd, can you think of an answer to steal? Uh, Nails, over to you, sir. Tell me something a lot of people have that they can't afford. Uh, let's say a fancy house. Yeah, so let's see if it's up there. Looking for that fancy house. There it is. There we go, number two. Eric, mm -hmm. back to you. Let's try a boat. I want a boat. Nice. Let's see if we get there. Awesome. Looking for a boat. No boats here. The first strike for you. Oh. Nails, back to you. I'm going to say vacation. Vacation. It's always interesting. Let's see if it's there. We are looking for vacation. Not there. Second strike. Wow. Uh, nerds, get ready to steal. And back to you, Eric. What was that? Did you say pool, Eric? Oh. Yeah, got got some technical issues here, folks. So be patient here. What did you say, Eric? Now pool. a pool, swimming pool. swimming pool. Okay, I like that answer. That's a good one. If swimming pool's up there, you guys are still alive. If not, third strike. Game show nerds get a chance to steal. Looking for a swimming pool. Wow, I'm shocked it was not there. All right, 66 points at the bank, Game Show Nerds. Your chance to catch up and get back in this game here. Again, Nate, tell me something a lot of people have that they can't afford. Uh, Andrew. A fur coat. A fur coat, okay. He says a fur coat. Chris, you can go with that, or you can go with an answer of your choice. What was that? And a phone. A phone in general. Most likely. A phone, you say. Okay, that's what you want to go with? Oh. All right. If a phone is up there, you guys have the points, and you'll be closing the gap. If not, the Northern Lights take a huge lead. Looking for a phone. Um, there it is. Oh, wow. You're welcome. I, I bet my answer's got to be out there. Well, we got a few answers that we're not said, so let's see what they're up there. Number three. Credit cards. Credit cards. That, that's that's awesome. true for half of America right now. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Number five. I think... TV or TV. cable. I would have said that one, too. That HBO running the cable bills up all day. Six. Yeah. Bill. Bills. Yeah, just yeah, bills in general right there. I say that's pretty accurate for that one. Seven. Close. Close. Yeah, I think that's where okay. the fur coat would have came in there, so I think it would have counted. And number eight. Yeah. Jewelry. Jewelry. Oh. All right. All right. Sixty-six points for the game show nerds. Seventy-one points for the Northern Lights. It's anybody's game now. Give me Andrew, give me Nels. Let's play some more feud. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sur sur surveyed 100 yeah. people this time. Top six answers are on the board this time. Point values are now doubled. So here we go with this question. Name something you might do during a driving test that would make you fail right away. I'm gonna say eat food. Eating food. Let's see if it's up there. Looking for eating something. Not there. All right, Andrew. Any answer could take it. Texting. 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 There. I will uh, see if it's up there. Looking for texting. 
Not there. All right. Eric, we go to, Eric, we go to you. Name something you might do during a driving oh test that would make you fail right away. Seatbelt. All right. Not wearing a seatbelt. Is it there? All right. That makes you got, sense. All right, number four, you guys have the option now. Pass or play. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take this yeah, one. Take it. We'll take it. All right. Nerds, get ready to give me an answer. Steal. Nails, we go to you since Eric gave me the first correct answer there. 22 points at the bank on this one again. Name something you might do during a driving test that would make you fail right away. I'm going to say speeding. Speeding. Yeah, that, that might get you some. We'll see if it's there. Looking for speeding. Well, nope, that's the first strike. Oh, Eric, we'll go back to you. Hey, not obeying traffic signs. Yeah. Not obeying traffic signs. All right. All right, we'll see if it's there. Looking for not obeying traffic signs. There it is. For three there. 54 points in the Maybe. bank now. Nails, back to you. Let's say... No left turn signal. All right. So it has to be no left turn signal, not nothing about the right, right? Correct. Uh, I, I'm just I'm kidding. Really it's okay. Laugh a little. Yeah. Time. All right. Look at there. Looking for no left turn signal. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sixty-eight points in the bank, right, guys. Eric. Three answers, only one strike so far. Eric. Boy, um, let's see. Let's try hitting a car. Hitting a car. Yeah, that would probably make you fail really quick there. Hitting somebody in a hit and run. There it is. Number one answer. 114 points at the bank. Two answers left, guys, to sweep the board. Nels. He he took my answer, that son of a gun. Um, Why did I tell him? This, I, I don't know. He took my answer. All right. Two second strike. All right. Game show nerds get ready a chance to steal. Eric, the two answers left. Uh, name something you might do during a driving test that would make you fail right away. Come on, Eric. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Hold up. Hold up. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, three seconds. Uh, not looking both ways. All right, not looking right. All right, not looking both ways. If not looking both ways is up there, you guys are still alive. If not, third strike. Game show nerds with a chance to steal. Show me not looking both ways. Not there. Third strike. One hundred fourteen points in the bank, fellas. Chance to steal it if you got it. Again, name something you might do during a driving test that would make you fail right away. Andrew, what do you say? Uh, not using your rear view mirror. Not using the rear view mirror. Okay, Chris, you can go with that, or you can go with one of your own. But you need one of the answers I, to steal the points. I think either that or violating the law. Uh, you'd, have, you'd have to be more specific on that one. Oh, okay. DUI, uh, <clears throat> maybe. <laughs> Drinking one, yeah, that would probably oh. that would probably oh. get you failed right away. If the guy smelled it on your breath, hopefully he's smart enough not to even let you in the car. All right, hey, but if yeah. drinking while while driving is up there, you guys steal the points to take the lead. If not, they go to the Northern Lights. Show me drinking under the influence. Not there. Oh. Point. Yeah. yeah, although drinking under the influence oh, and driving under the influence, there. same thing in my world. Uh, two answers up there that we didn't get. Uh, number number two, running a red oh. light. Oh. And finally six, driving on the wrong side. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, unfortunately, if you're not, I yeah, if you're not in there. England. <laughs> All right, 185 for the Northern Lights, 66 for the Game Show Nerds.
good battle going on here. Let's see what we'll do. Give me Chris. Give me Eric. Let's play some more for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Once again, there's point values are still doubled. We have the top five answers on the board this time. Here is your question. Name a children's story that takes place in the woods. Oh. That's Eric. Yeah. Little Red Riding Hood. Show me. Yeah. Little Miss Red Riding Hood. Number one answer. Got him. There it is. 110 points in the bank, guys. Play your pass. Oh, you want to take we'll the play. We'll play. play this one? Yeah. All right. Game show nerds, get ready play. for a chance to steal. All right. 110 the bank as uh, Nels. Again, name a children's story that takes place in the woods. Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel. Let's see if it's up there. Show me, show me the Hansel and Gretel. It is. I will roll it. 160 points in the bank, wow. fellas. If you guys get this question, that's enough for you guys to win the game. All right, so Eric, back to you. Name a children's story that takes place in the woods. Dwarfs. What is that? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Let's we'll see if it's up there. Show me Snow White and the Seven Little Men. There it is. Okay. All right, number five. Two answers left. Nails? I want to say Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, that's a good one. Let's see if it's there. Show me Sleeping Beauty. Oh, Not there. First strike. It's okay. Eric, back to you. Robin Hood. Yes. Uh, Robin Hood of Shamrock Forest. Show me Robin Hood. There it is. Go. All right. There you go. One answer oh, left, Nels. If you can give it to me, you guys win the game. If not, it's your second strike. You're still okay. You name a children's story that takes place in the woods. I'm going to say Rapunzel. All right. If Rapunzel is up there, you guys have won the game. If not, it's your second strike. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your gilded hair. She said no. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So I can strike there. Eric, again, give me the last answer. You guys win. If not, go to the nurse for a chance to steal. What was that? I I think for uh, three little pigs. I don't know if that was the one. But oh. Was... Oh, that's a good one. If the three little piggies are up there, behind number three, how appropriate you guys win the game? Going on to play fast money. Not nerds with a chance to steal. Show me the three little piggies. Oh, Not there. All right, game show nerds. Here's the situation. You guys need this to keep your chances alive winning. Give me that last answer. You steal the points. If not, the Northern Lights win the game. Again, name a I children's story that takes place in the woods. Andrew, what do you say? I oh. Know. Oh, I'll, I'll let Chris. I'll let Chris handle this. All right, Chris. Nothing from your partner here. So what do you got? I better hope and pray that turtle, turtle in the hair. Is it there? I hope. Oh, uh, the tortoise in the hair. Okay. That one. Yes. All right. If the tortoise in the hair is up there, you guys have kept your hope alive, and you're still in this game. If not, the Northern Lights are today's champions. Show me. The classic story of the fast person versus the slow person, the tortoise versus the hare. Not the hare. Good game. One answer we didn't get to. What was number three? Goldilocks and the three bears. That's what I was trying to explain. That's the one that stuck in my head already. That's one thing that stuck in my oh, head. Oh, man. I'm so sorry there, guys. But well, that's going to do it. Normally, we're going to play a Fast Money. Uh, we say thank you to the game show Mr. for play. You got six points in your bank. I'm going to give you a cup. I'm going to give you some cash prizes. I'm going to give you some cash prizes.
All right. Uh, North Lock, you two play fast money. Who's going first? There it is. All right. Else, soundproof. Now when we come back, there's a big shot to see if you win one thousand dollars for the double money. Can they do it? Find out right after this here on the view. This hit with us. Welcome back to Family Feud Live. Our winners today, the Northern Lights, and they have now earned the right to go for fast money and $20,000 in cash. All right, Eric, here's how fast money works. I got five survey questions here. Try to give me the most popular answer that you can. Uh, first time through, take as much time as you need to answer the questions. If you don't know it, pass. We'll come back to it if there's time. Uh, second, Once you go through all the questions, once second time through, you'll have 15 seconds to give me any missing answers that you didn't get, all right? If you and Nails can combine together, get 200 points, look right in that camera and tell them what you're going to win. $20,000. Yes, let's go for it. Give me 20 seconds on the uh, give me uh, Give me the answers up there, 15 seconds on the clock. All right, again, take your time as what you need to in the first one, and then um, if you have any answers, come back through the second time, all right? Good luck to you. We start off with this. Name something women do for their sons that they also do for their husbands. Um, dress them. Okay. All right. Name a reason you. Name a reason you congratulate someone. Um, graduation. Name something that reminds you of New Orleans. We asked 100 women on this one. Name a superhero who was hot. Superman. Okay. And finally, 15 seconds on this one. Name something insects do. What was that? M-A-T-E, mate. Mate, okay. You got it. All right, let's see how well you did. All right, first time through, Eric. Let's see what you got. We asked you to name something women do for their sons that they also do for their husbands. You gave us. Dress them. Our survey said. Seven. Okay. Nice. Name a reason you congratulate someone. You gave us. They graduated. It's always an important one. Your survey said 12. Name something that reminds you of New Orleans. You gave us the old Mardi Gras. Always a fun time there. Survey said 38. There you, there you go. We asked 100 women, name a superhero who was hot. You gave us the man who was quite super. Survey said 42. There, go. there we go. There you go. And finally, we asked you to name something insects do. You give us mate. Survey said three. All right. You, you did what you needed to do. You're halfway there. I'm going to cover up those answers. And we are going to bring in your partner. There we go. Buddy, I think we got this. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Nails, partner, you're pretty good yes. for you there. Got you 102 points. He did half the work. That means you got to do the other half. 50 50 here. You need 98. You yeah. need 98 points. Get, uh, again, we're going to ask you the same five questions. He said, if you duplicate any of his answers, you'll hear this sound. And you'll say, try, I'll tell you, try again. Give me another answer. Okay. First time through, take as much time as you need to answer them. Second time through, any of them that you passed on, you got 20 seconds and you'll. You have 20 seconds to try to give me any of the ones that you missed, okay? Okay. All right, so good luck to you. I okay. hope you guys get this money. Let's do it. All right, first question up is this. Name something women do for their sons that they also do for their husbands. Wash their clothes. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Next, uh, name a reason you'd congratulate someone. A uh, new job. Okay. Next up, name something that reminds you of New Orleans. Mardi Gras. Try again. Um, pass. Okay. We asked 100 women, name a superhero who was hot. Superman. Try again. Uh, Spider-Man. Okay. And finally, name something insects do. Sting. Okay. All right, go back to the clock. 20 seconds on this one. Name, okay. name something that reminds you of New Orleans. Jazz. Jazz, okay. That's a good answer. All right. Good job. Let's see how well. See what you do. Here is your partner's answer. What he said. So we're gonna see if that's enough to put together and see get you some get you the points. All right. First off, we have Eric. Yeah, bugs gotta reproduce. Bugs need love too. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, let's, let's, okay. All right. Let's see if it's up there. First off, we asked you to name something women do for their sons that they also do for their husbands. You gave us wash your clothes. Survey said. 15. Number one answer there was cook. 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 Oh, wow. Yep. Name a reason you congratulate someone. You gave us, you got a new job. That was a good time to congratulate. Survey said. 25. Number one answer, married or engaged? Wedding. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. You had some trouble with this one, but you got it in time. Name something that reminds you of New Orleans. You give us. Jazz, of course. Home of jazz music. Yeah, Great I, I guess, stuff, yeah. too. Survey said 17. Mardi Gras was the number one answer. Eric said yeah. that one. All right, we asked 100 women, name a superhero who was hot. You gave us Spider Man. No, Superman. Uh, let's see. Uh, survey said 16. Okay. Yeah, Superman oh, was the number one answer. Eric yeah. said that one as well. All right, you're 25 points away. This, 25. This, this is doable. Yeah. We asked you to name something insects do. You said sting. I will, do sting. I will tell you it is the number one answer. If 25 people said it, you've got yourself $20,000. Survey said. All right, baby. You got it. here on Family Feud Live. And if you want to see more of this great game show, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, that way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Production. And help us reach our subscriber goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. would be much appreciated. But again, thank you to all my contestants. Thank you home for watching. And for all of us here at Family Feud Live, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you all next time for more Family Feud Live. Take care. Bye for now, folks.